Oh, yeah. I've got coffee on my lips. You don't call me a coffee lip. Hey, hey guys. What's up? What's up, YouTube? I figured I'd take out my camera and uh, kind of go through my whole hair and skin routine with you guys because I did say I was going to do that at some point. Okay, so I put my contacts in just because it makes it a lot easier for me to put stuff on my face and to still be able to see. Um, so I don't have any makeup on or anything on my face at all right now. I'm just going to take one of these Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I do that just so I have like a fresh, clean um, surface. I have like fairly sensitive skin, not so much to product, but when it comes to like um, touching or rubbing, um, it just turns red really, really easily. Next, before getting into the shower, I like to put on some type of mask, usually a clay mask or something that's harder to get off. This one is um, from Origins, the Dead Sea Origins Mask, Dead Sea Mud, Dead Sea Mud Face Mask, infused with Dead Sea salts and minerals. Now I need to brush my hair. I brush my hair before I shower because if you can't tell, I have a lot of it. It's very long and very thick. Because it's much easier for me to brush my hair after washing it if I brush it before I wash it. out of breath from brushing my hair. It's been a long time since I've used this stuff, and I, I don't know, a few months anyway. And it's called Marilyn from Lush. It's a hair treatment for blondes, and it just says, let your blonde have more fun, a pre-wash treatment for blondes who want lighter, brighter hair. So I do this now out of the shower, and then I rinse it off as I'm rinsing my mask off in the shower. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now. I don't really want to wait the full 20. Um, also notice you can see my my spray tan residue. I just didn't take like a very good job of it this time. Take a very good job. I didn't take very good care of it this time around and I like scrubbed a lot in this area and I wore a lot of like high neck shirts to the gym so I got like really sweaty right there and just that's what's gonna happen. Only slightly nervous about this setup, but hopefully you guys can hear me through the running water. I already take the world's longest shower, so doing this is probably going to make it even longer. Alright, so next before washing my hair, I'm going to use this apple cider vinegar stuff that I talked about in my... January favorite video. So you're supposed to like wring out all the extra water. Okay, so you just make like a few parts in your hair. It's like using, like go through it and like use the tip to part your hair and squeeze it out as you do that. You want to be pretty generous with it. And then you're just supposed to kind of massage it in. It's just an oil, so it's not going to like get all bubbly like shampoo does in. And then you keep it in for like two or three minutes before rinsing it out. While it's sitting, I'll brush my teeth with my uh, charcoal tooth. Oh, Rinse 
rinse out. Then I do my shampoo and conditioner. So typically, I don't really care about what I'm using, like shampoo and conditioner wise, because my theory is when it comes to like what to spend your money on, spend your money on the things that like, stay in your hair or on your skin, rather than on the things that you're gonna rinse off. The shampoo and conditioner, like I typically just go for the cheap stuff from the grocery store. In the past few months, my hair has been really difficult for me as far as like tangles and like literally turning into dreadlocks. Um, so I've been using this more expensive stuff that like you have to get from the stylist, like a salon or something, called Pureology. For an example, which like to spend your money on when it comes to like skincare. So cleanser, you're gonna put that on and then rinse it off. So that's not something I'd mainly focus on spending my money on. I would want to spend my money on like a serum or a moisturizer or an SPF something that is going to stay on your skin, that your skin is going to absorb. So these are a couple of the face washes that I use. I just kind of like rotate them whenever I feel like. This one is called Cup of Coffee by Lush. And um, so actually both of these are not just for your face, they're for your body too and they're scrubs. So I will clarify, if I like just got a spray tan or if I'm trying to maintain my spray tan, then I won't use these because they're very, very like exfoliating and it'll scrub your tan right off. starting to just like kind of burn my skin a little bit because I left it on for too long um, and it just feels like a little bit stingy so I'm going to rinse that off and put coffee on my face and that will kind of cool it down. shown you so far is not anything that I do every day. It is something I like once or twice, like maybe twice a week, and then the hair mask like pops once a week. But this, this is something I do every single day, every time I shower. And then you just like rub it all over your face. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I think that's everything other than like shaving and whatnot. Okay, so sometimes I uh, leave my towel on my head for a very long time um, because I get distracted doing other things. Oh wow, that was a painful one. Whew. So now I'm toning, wow, I need more, um, with this diff, witch hazel. This one's cucumber, I think. I just put it on a cotton ball. And I've put this on my Instagram story before and then people are like, what is that? This is a high frequency machine. I learned about them in aesthetic school and I was obsessed. And then I finally got my own. And there's lots of other different heads. This is the one I use most frequently because I just like use it for like spot treatment, like to zap zit. One that kind of looks like a comb to stimuli, stimuli. Stimulate hair growth, and then there's one for like all over the face. Anyways, so like you go to the spot and you like go one, two, and then hold on the third. I don't know why, but that's just what I learned in school. Can you see the spark? Another thing I love that I haven't used in a while, I kind of like go through phases of being really good about it and then not using it ever. So mine's broken, it only has one of the ear things which makes it kind of uncomfortable. It's Neutrogena and it's a red and blue light face mask and it's really good for um, like acne prone skin and anti-aging and loads of other things. Really good for um, inflammation and like those big like hormonal cystic acne. 
It's gonna be really uncomfortable with a towel on my head too. Oh! What's up? So I'm gonna sit with this on my face until it's over and then I'll come back. See ya. So I took out my towel off and kind of blow dried my hair for a minute while my battery was charging. I put this in my hair. It's called Ego Boost by Bedhead. I used to never use products on my hair ever. Like lately I've been really struggling with tangles and like getting like legitimate dreadlocks. My mom and my sister both told me that I need to start putting stuff in my hair. And then I have this stuff, All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment by Redken. Spray this everywhere. So that's really it for my hair. Uh, when it's still wet like this, because I really don't like to blow dry it too much. And I usually have somewhere to go, like right now. Then I just put it in a braid, because it's easy, and because it helps with the tangles. Typically just do a fishtail, because a couple years ago I just got tired of doing a regular braid. I need to get a haircut, because these are my bangs right now, and that is just obnoxious. After I put toner all over my face, I either put on this moisturizer from Rhonda Allison called E-Zinc Protection Cream. Like, that's what I'm going to put on right now because I'm not going anywhere. It's dark outside. I don't need the other thing I put on. So, if it were morning or if I was going to go somewhere, put makeup on or something, I would put this on. It's uh, the Senegence Make Sense Tinted Moisturizer. Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer. Since it's nighttime. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna put on this stuff. I feel like it's pretty mattifying actually. It's not like it doesn't say that or anything, but I feel like it is. What I showed you guys like is a fraction of the skincare products that I own. Going to aesthetical going to a set Going to aesthetic school and like growing up with problematic skin, I've just been like obsessed with skincare and things like that. I don't know how I just went that whole time without showing you this. I know I've talked about it before, but this is tea tree water from Lush. Oh yeah. So I'm not a very big makeup person at all. I barely ever wear it. Like what I, I have my brows microbladed and I have lash extensions. So all I really do on a normal day is like a tinted moisturizer, but I will do a get ready with me, <laughs> a non-expert by any means that I will probably receive a lot of shit for, tips or advice or whatever, which is more than welcome because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup, but I just thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys what I do do when I do get ready, whenever that happens, but... Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.